Namaste. Welcome back to yet another yoga video with me. So today we are going to work on our hips and specifically how to sit cross-legged. Whether it's in Padmasana, whether it's in Ardha Padmasana or whether it's simply sitting in cross leg position which is called the Sukhasana. So today we are going to work around all the muscles and the joints which help you actually sit in the sitting posture. There are three major joints which work for sitting in this particular asana. One is of course the hip joints, the second is your knee, the third is your ankle joint. So there has to be mobility in all three joints to be able to actually achieve the final posture. So let's begin the session first by doing general warm up in the body. So let's shake our hands, shrug our shoulders, raise arms up, move your neck left and right. At the same time, twist your body. Stretch to the side. Breathe in up and down. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, left and right, shrug your shoulders up and down, on the elbows, hands, shake your hands, big smile on the face, relax, let go, bring your legs in front of the body, hands behind your back, raise right leg up, down, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Shake your legs. Move your feet left and right. Bang your knees onto the floor. and relax, let go, pull the toes towards the body and away, in, away, now rotate the ankle and reverse the direction and relax, relax, the toes and let go. Now first, let's do the mobilization of the hip. Bring both the soles of the feet together into the Baddha Konasana. Catch hold of your toes, open out your chest and gently push the knees down as much as possible. Not necessary, you need to do all the way, but as much as possible. A big smile on the face. Let's do it for 30 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, continue, and relax, let go, gently bring the feet a little forward, Take a deep breath in, exhale, bend forward as much as you can. Remember to keep your spine erect, tuck your chin inward so that you lengthen your spine and gently fall forward wherever you can reach. Continue breathing in this position. Focus on lengthening the spine rather than going down. And gently come up, relax. Now let's do the single side movement. Keep the left elbow on the left thigh and with the right hand push it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In the other direction. Again, making sure the soles are closer to the groin. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
and relax let go now reverse the position bring it back and relax relax now keep both the feet in front of the body ardh badh konasana take the right foot place it over the left thigh catch hold of the right foot with the left hand now with the right hand push it down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Stay there and rotate your hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do it with the other leg. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push it down, and then rotate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and straighten the leg. Shake your leg. Shake your leg. And relax. Once again, bring your feet outside. Now we are going to do the 90s. What you need to do: bring one knee down on the center, the other knee goes outside. So we are going to do this approximately for over a minute, as much as you can. The big smile on the face. Use your breath. As you exhale, bring the knee down inside. And let go. Relax. Once again, bring your feet in front of the body. Relax your leg. Relax your leg. All right. Now, let's again work on the outside hip muscle called the piriformis muscle. For that, what you do is place the shin bone of one leg in line with the mat. The other foot goes over the other knee. Make an effort to push the knee down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and if possible, gently bend forward as much as you can. Tuck your chin inwards, lengthen your spine, go down as much as you can. Of course, go down wherever you can reach and hold this position for at least thirty seconds. Continue breathing. Breathe in, gently come up. And now let's work on the other leg. Remember to keep the heel over the knee. This helps you stretch a little bit more. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine, tuck your chin inwards. Exhale, bend forward, go down. Either you can keep your hands down or wherever you reach. At least thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. 
Breathe in, gently come up and relax. Let go. Now, let's also work on the knee muscle at the same time. What we are going to do is we are going to rotate the knee. Even though the knee joint does not rotate, but the auxiliary muscles and the joints, they adjust itself of lubrication happening in the knee joint. So move the knee, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other leg, catch hold of the inner thigh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Let go. Now, if you wish, you can massage your knees a little bit. Now, moving on to the ankle. Pull the toe in and out, in and out. You can also it with the help of the hand. Pull it in and out. In, 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 seven, eight, nine, ten. The other foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now, so you can keep your legs in the front, take your foot closer to the thigh and with the other hand you start cranking the ankle, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The other foot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and straighten the leg relax now gently come on the knees and with the help of the knee you gently make an effort to come and sit on the heels as much as possible slow so this particular stretch is going to help you stretch this ankle muscle and also the ankle joint so that when you are doing padmasana when you are stretching and keeping the foot over the other knee then it's going to be easier for the ankle to stretch so you go forward and down go forward and down go forward and down wherever you're comfortable stay there you want to increase the pressure on the ankle go back a little back so you're balancing the weight on the ankle with the help of the hand not entirely the entire weight is on the ankle go back a little bit holding still with the tips of the hands and if you can then you gently come on your ankle practice staying in this position for at least five minutes daily it's going to help you enormously to sit in Padmasana so let's just do it for a minute you can keep your eyes closed, continue breathing, become aware of your breath. Gently come out of Vajrasana and slowly coming to the sides of the body. We lie down in Shavasana. Now bring your soles of the feet together, closer to the groin, and spread your legs out and rest in the Supta Baddhikonasana for at least a minute. If you wish, you can also put some weights on the thighs so that it pushes down 
opening up your hip joint a little bit more. and gently straighten the leg now let's do a mobility lying down on the floor pull your navel in bend one leg and place the foot on the floor now we are going to rotate right leg complete circles 9 10 reverse 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 bring it down to the other leg 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Reverse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 10 and bring it down bend your right knee and place the right foot over the left knee or close to the knee on the thigh now take your hand from inside both the legs and catch hold of the shin bone and pull it in feel the pressure on the outside of the right buttock or the right piriformis muscle Stay there for 15-20 seconds. And relax. Let's do it on the other leg. Pull it in. and relax and relax in Shavasana just for a minute Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Gently turn to your right side and with the help of your hands you may sit up. And you may gently open your eyes. 
Now by doing these exercises every day ensuring that you are also doing some abhyanga that is oil application on the knee joint and the ankle joint and also up your hip joint this will ensure that over a span of couple of weeks you might be able to actually sit in the cross leg position and later on graduate to the ardha padmasana or the half lotus or the full lotus position if you continue doing this particular exercise regimen this yoga regimen for couple of weeks so thank you for watching this video if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel click the subscription button and also hit the bell icon to receive all the updates on the videos that i keep posting thank you for joining in namaste